Hi guys! What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Christian. And for today's video, based nga sa title ng video na ito is I'm going to um, talk about the 20 um, interview questions that I um, answered or tinanong sa akin when I applied at Concentrix. So, sa hindi nakakaalam, Concentrix is actually a BPO industry, international BPO industry. So, meron some branches dito sa Philippines and then sa ibang bansa din. And, um, yeah, like what I've said um, in today's video, so pag-uusapan natin yung 20 questions na sinagot ko and fortunately in one take lang sa interviews ko sa Concentrix I was able to pass the um, interview part so uh, para sa mga hindi nakakaalam these 20 questions is actually the combination of both initial and final interview so baka maguluhan kayo everyone so these questions um, are the questions both doon sa initial and final interview now from my experience iba yung interviewer ko sa initial interview at iba din yung um, interviewer ko sa final interview and just to set proper expectations these questions may be asked to you sa mga nanonood and if you're applying to apply and if you're planning to apply at um, Concentrix. So, these questions may um, uh, be um, asked to you, uh, itatanong sa'yo or hindi. But because I have work experience before with other BPO companies, and yun nga, uh, I'm still working at VXI, then at talagang nag-apply lang ako sa Concentrix because, um, I'm again, I'm looking for um, a better um, hindi naman sa ayo ko sa VXI but I'm still I'm not closing any doors so ayun nga so nirefer ako ng friend ko who is working at Concentrix to try to apply sa company nila and also just to get um an idea para sa vlog ko nga para sa sa video na ito. so um I tried applying and then fortunately I was able to be hired at um Concentrix so nakakontemplate pa ako but more on that on the next videos ko so I will be also making another video on how um my application um goes doon sa Concentrix kasi um, there are difference between sa mga na ko na companies and so I want to make another video for that one. But for today's video, we'll be focusing more on the 20 interview questions that I um, answered doon nga sa aking initial and final interview sa ating um, Concentrix application. So without further ado, para hindi mas kailang mahaba ang video na to kasi 20 questions ito. So here it is you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first question which is the very common question of all interview questions which is the tell me about yourself. So, um, again, I've already talked a lot about this question in my previous video, so I'll be just giving you a, like a um, a short um, answer, a short but precise answer. So, in answering, um, tell me about yourself because you will be um, you will be an uh, dito. You have your resume, right? You already have um, filled out your personal information once um, don't palang sa screening. Um, for those who are, because I applied online, so um, if malayo ka doon sa mismong office ng Concentrix, they do have an option that you can apply at um, ang tawag dito, uh, sa Facebook page nila, doon sa messenger nila. So, just type Concentrix, then lalabas, then send message doon sa page nila, then message ka lang doon sa kanilang um, Facebook page, then maliling ka na doon sa messenger mo, papunta doon sa um, kanilang parang application na na message queue. So, doon, pagkatapos doon, is may mga questions na answeran mo lang yon automated yung question. So, doon, is meron mga pre-screening questions like, like your personal information, like your name, where you came from, ganun, 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 ganun. And then, um, educational background, ganun, ganun, ganun. So, when answering this, um, tell me about yourself, doon na mismo sa um, human interviewer, um, what you need to do is to highlight things which is um, bakit kanila ihahire what are your qualifications at bakit kanila um ipa bakit kanila ihahire as their employee so um meron akong format niyan when i'm answering time about yourself so magsisimula muna tayo sa personal information like your name your age where you came from after that is your educational background so again na BPO um hindi naman needed talaga na college graduate ka or meron kang master's degree or doctoral degree. So, senior high school graduate is okay. Um, undergraduate is okay. Again, for all of you guys kasi um, they are more into skills rather than um, ang tawag natin dito, educational background. So, make sure to highlight your educational background and make sure, again pala, make sure na when you're answering all of these questions, sound confident. Okay? Talagang 
ibigay mo ng todo. Um, use, uh, huwag kang maging monotone. Like, um, talagang confident. Talagang highlight emphasis when you answer. Okay? Be proud. Be confident. And um, always be, ang um, tawag dito, jolly. Yung parang uplifting ka. Kasi ayaw nila ng mga, ang tawag din dito, yung parang malalamya. Ganon. So, after educational background, previous work experience. Any previous work experience is um, important. Kasi, hindi dahil kailangan mo ng related na work doon sa BPO industry, but they will be testing you some situations which later on, pag-uusapan natin yan. So, any previous work experience, huwag kang mahihap. If tindara ka, if cashier ka, if nagtatrabaho ka sa gasoline station, if naglalaku ka, if nagtatrabaho ka sa palengke, anything, please, um all of your previous work experience, please do um ang tagot dito, include that in your answer. And also, um, Dito, also give your responsibilities don't sa previous work experience mo. For example, uh, my name is Christian and my previous work experience is um, I work as a cashier on a convenience store. So my responsibility includes um, day-to-day um, audit on the um, sales and um, and for four months that I've worked in that um, convenience store um there were no lapses um everything is okay i i um there were no um ano tayo nito um sa kung sa kung sa tagalog pa walang nawalang pera everything is handled um properly i've audited everything okay ganun ganun highlight your responsibilities highlight everything na magandang outcome doon sa trabaho mo Okay? Because that is very important. Kasi dito sa BPO industry, magkikipag-usap tayo sa customer. So, customer handling, kung paano ka. So, in four months that I've been working there, I didn't get any complaint. Hindi ako napatawag ng manager ko. Ganon. Highlight all of those, you guys. That's very important. Okay? And after that one, after um, your um, highlighting that one, um, tell them about what you can do. If, example, um, I know na uh, I don't have any work experience related in the BPO um, industry, but I am willing to be trained. Um, I'm a fast learner, and um, even if I undergo to through um, seminars, trainings, and to enhance my skills, I am very willing to do that. Gan gan gan. Talagang make sure na makakonvince mo yung interviewer, and that's it. That is, tell me about yourself. Hindi mo lang kailangan sabihin na, I like to go shopping, I like to go mountain hiking, wala mga ganun, okay? So that is, um, yeah, tell me about yourself, which is very, very important. Um, and then, the second question that I got is, why did you choose to apply in BPO industry? Um, yung answer ko dito is, um, I choose to apply in BPO industry because of two reasons. The first one is to earn. Um, if you're the breadwinner of your family, tell them that. Um, I would like to um, provide for my family needs. That's what I am looking for a job. But not only that, I want to find a job wherein I could enjoy. I am earning while I am enjoying it. And since I love to talk, I love to converse to people, I like to communicate to people, that's why I choose to become a call center agent. Ganon, o, diba? So, na-highlight mo na yun. You want to work and you're enjoying what you want, uh, what you're doing. So, plus points na agad yun sa inyong interviewer. Ganon lang. And, yan, ganon lang. Tapos, kung may ma-add pa kayo na para talagang maintay sila. Kasi, gusto talagang i-hire, gusto nilang i-hire someone who is willing to do the work because it's a stressful work, you guys. And, they want to have someone na mag enjoy doon sa pressure in which we'll be talking later, okay? Number three is, what is a, what is your idea of a call center? So, yung answer ko dito is, my idea, again guys, I will be, I'm acting as someone as I didn't have any people industry when answering these questions, okay? So, number three, what is your idea of a call center? So, for me, based on what I've read, so a call center agent um, or the industry um, revolves around um, assisting their customer um, for their needs. So if it's about technical reasons, so you must have an idea about and how to resolve um, technical problems like um, how to start the um, service, how to um, manipulate wirings, things like those. and. Um, 
Also, if you are in the sales department, um, because usually may mga iba kasi na ini-explain nila na this is a sales, um, before mag-start ng interview, this is a sales account. Ganun, ganun, ganun. So, you could also explain that in, in sales, um, you, um, you will be offering some services to the customers and at the same time, you will be assisting them about their existing service with the company that, um, or the account that you're handling. Parang ganun. So, this is a very broad topic, like idea of a call center. So, but mostly, um, yung answer mo dapat is revolving around assisting their customers to their satisfaction to give them a seamless um, customer service experience. Parang ganun. Okay? Just to yung talagang, uh, kasi yung talagang yung work natin, you will be assisting the customers, whether it's technical, sales, bookings, healthcare, everything. We'll be assisting them to the matter in a fast, seamless, and reliable customer service. Pak, ganon. Plus points agad yun. So, let's go with number four. Why did you not apply in a job that is related to your college diploma? So, dito nalalabis yung mga questions mo doon sa personal information mo. So, this was asked to me and then, um, my, because I am an education graduate, I have bachelor's degree in elementary education. So, uh, my answer to this one is that um, I've tried teaching before. Um, I, I worked as an online English teacher to um to a Japanese ESL company but the 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 payment or the um the salary is not enough S- even though that I'm working from home I still have the bills to pay because I need to have my own internet connection I need to um invest on my own devices so the salary was not enough and it's um quite tiresome so for me it's not very worth it and i've also tried working as a private school teacher before and um the job was um still um it's it's not that as easy because you are working in the office but after working from the office you need to bring some of your work at home and one thing that i really like about working as a call center agent is that when you're working in the office after you go out or after you um after your day's shift um you will not have to worry you will not bring any work from um from home Ganun. Yung tagli yung difference, guys, which is the advantage of working as a call center agent. So, mga nagtatanong dyan kung an, bakit nga ba na mag, mag-call center agent. It's actually because doon ka lang magtatrabaho doon sa 8 hours na shift mo doon sa prod or magtitake calls ka. After that one, after mong mag-out, wala ka nang bibit-biting trabaho sa bahay. That is one of the advantages of working as a call center agent. Okay, guys? So, yun. Um, number five, do you have um, call center experience? And kung wala, you just have to say no. But if you do have a call center experience, just tell them yes. Tell them the account. Um, if it's a telco account, healthcare, um, technical, ganun, 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 just tell them that. So uh, I think uh, answerable by yes or no naman tung, do you have a call center experience? So, and the next question that I got was, how much is your salary expectation? Now, again, I am still, um, I will be um, acting as someone na walang call center experience. So, my answer to this one before is 15000 So, ayun. But, the first company that nag offer sa is more than that. So, expectation lang naman. So, yeah, just give your salary expectation, you guys. So, number seven is, do you have plans to continue your studies or take licensure examination? Ito tinanong sa akin kasi I am in, um nung dagating dito yung tinanong sa akin is um kung magpo-pursue pa ba akong mag licensure examination so ang answer ko dito is um currently I don't have any plans to take the licensure examination and if ever that I would take the licensure examination um I will not be doing a review sa call sa review centers and mahaba-haba to kasi um the interviewer and again guys I just want you to um also to um expect na yung yung interview sa akin is hindi 
casual yung yung interview namin not so formal yung parang conversational lang parang ganun so casual talk ko lang na interview hindi siya masyado mahigpit ka mag-relax kayo guys so ayun so may mga haba-haba so yun nga yung answer ko so i don't have any plans to take the licensure examination as of now and kasi nagtakot sila baka baka mag baka umalis ka mag-resign ka dahil nga mag-review ka for review center so yun yung answer ko maybe someday but I'm not planning to enroll to any review center so gusto ko mag-self-review ganun ganun so if ever naman na magtatanong sa'yo na um, continue your um, do you have any plans to continue your studies if you're in a college undergraduate so kasi dito guys I just want to set proper expectation yung nakakalusot lang talaga sa si interview um, totoo to um, yung mga magnunow kasi hindi nila ayaw nila mag ayaw nila mag-hire or mag-train ng someone tapos aalis lang din kasi magko-continue ng studies nila so um if you um if if you have the if you don't have any plans to continue your studies please do tell them kasi um if meron kang plano na bumalik sa pag pag-studying after some months I'm uh, surely hindi ka makakapasa doon sa interview. Okay, just to set proper expectation. So, number eight, uh, what are your strengths? So, um, yun, highlight all your strengths. So, um, things that I can remember when answering this question is that um, my conversation. I really love to talk. I really love to assist the customers. And um, I'm the kind of person who really wanted to resolve other people's concern. And I believe that I'm um, talking to people, comforting them is very important especially um, if the, the customer is frustrated or if I'm talking to someone who is frustrated or angry, I'm the kind of person who really loves to listen and to give um, a better advice. So that's why I know that I am fit to the job because I could really help out customers on their concerns. Yun lang yung answer ko sa weakness, sa uh, strengths ko. So weaknesses naman is, um, ayo tatanungin ka sa weaknesses mo. So, my weakness talaga, number one, is my tardiness because, um, or pagiging late. Yun yung weaknesses ko. Kasi, ang bagal kong kumilos, you guys, yung um, pag nag, nag, nagpa-plano akong magbihes, ganun, or lalakad. So, but I'm work, but um, I can definitely work that out, ganun. So, when you give your weakness, you guys, um, tell them your weakness. Highlight your weakness and then tell them naman kung paano mo i-resolve yun or ano yung mga actions na gagawin mo para mapigilan mo yung mga weaknesses mo na yun. Kasi they don't want someone na walang growth, walang development, okay? And make promises. And make sure naman when you have that, um, when you make a promise naman, kahit hindi naman sa job, kahit sa tao, pag pinangakuan mo, panagutan mo, charot, ganun. So, highlight your weakness at the same time, um, that. So, sa strength din pala, ganun, highlight and then use it as an advantage why they should hire you. Ganun lang. And then, um, number 10, can you work under pressure? So, um, for me, I've said yes. So, I know na being, um, I really love to work under pressure because it makes, it becomes my motivation to work harder, to make sure that I could surpass an expectations from my employee, especially to myself, that it would be an achievement for me if I would be able to surpass this pressure for a personal development. Ganon, ganon lang. And then, how do you find yourself five years from now? So what I've said, ito talaga totoo to. I've said that, um, Five years from now or less than five years from now, I can see myself to be one of your um, trainers for your call center agents. Ganun talaga. Tra- kasi talagang, gusto ko maging trainer, gusto ko mag-teach. So, being a trainer in a call center agent is like teaching in a school, right? So, you'll be able to give your inputs, your tips, and then seeing other people be um, endorsed to the call center agent, to, to the industry, to the company is very rewarding especially for me because i really wanted to become a teacher so seeing my students um growth and development to be able to reach their success is a very important for me and it's very achieving and um ganun ganun lang, ganun lang. so if you want to be a pl team leader sabugutin mo yon kung gusto mong maging um if gusto mong maging om or ad or floor walker ganun so supports ganun highlight all of them kasi libre yung mangarap and it's it could um also 
Um, kasi pag sabihin mo, I'm still working for you guys, ganun, ganun lang. So, parang, ay, walang growth. So, ayaw, ayaw mo ng growth doon sa doon sa career mo. So, pag nakita nila na meron kang goal, ma, ma, kun, ma, kun, is, talagang eager kang magtrabaho. Kasi lahat magsisimula talaga sa baba, right? So, if if they can see na meron, gusto, meron kang gustong i-achieve, so, parang talagang work, eh, yung work ethic mo is grabe. So, yun, plus points agad yun. So, why did you left your previous job? Yun nga, sinabi ko na, di ba, maliit yung sahod ko <coughs> sa sa previous job ko. <coughs> Are you willing to work? So, andito na tayo sa mga yes or no. And may mga follow-up questions to guys, ha? Okay, so I'll be citing some when as we go along the way. So, are you willing to work on your shift? To work on shifting schedule? So, yes. So, again, guys, all of the companies... Um, BPO industry have shifting schedules. So, this week iba, next week iba na naman. So, ganun. So, just tell them that you are willing. So, yes or no questions lang naman to. And then, are you willing to work night shift on are you willing to work on night shift? So, yes or no. Are you willing to work on weekends? Yes or yes or no. So, are you comfortable rendering overtime? So, an overtime is, for example, matatapos na yung shift is from, um, let's say, um, twelve, um, twelve, um, uh, a.m. That is midnight, twelve midnight, and then nine a.m. ng umaga. So, if, um, are you willing to work, um, overtime? So, usually, kasi may mga overtime. And again, guys, um. Y- um, we will be talking about payments as well. Kasi uh, when you work overtime, like for example, for two hours, so iba yung bayad nun. Mas malaki yung bayad dun sa per hour na nag-overtime ka, okay? So, yes, of course. Are you amendable to work on your rest day? Kasi may mga times talaga na sobrang queuing, so nagtatawag sa ng agents to work on rest days. So, yes or no, yes. Are you willing to work on holidays? Like ngayon, Christmas, holiday season, so work, work, work pa rin? Yes or no. So, ayun. So, from these yes or no questions, ito lang talaga matitip ko sa inyo, guys. Answer all of them yes. Kasi one no lang is talagang compromise yung um, application nyo. Kasi all of these are tasks, all of these are the sacrifices um, a call center agent um, has. Okay? So, lahat ng to is ginagawa namin. Kahit tenured ka pa na call center agent, all of this, the ones that we answered yes or no, lahat ng yes natin, lahat to ay buhay ng call center agent. So, we have to face them. So, um, by answering no, so you are not um, welcoming yourself as a call center agent. Okay? So, let's go ahead with the eight, number 18. So, how long is your travel time? Now, dito sa travel time, just tell them around 10 to 15 minutes. But um, if malayo ka talaga, if sasabihin mo na I'm from the other town, ganun. So, just tell them around if one hour lang lang man, ganun, ganun. So, um, I could manage my time. I could leave at um uh, at home very early, ganun, ganun. I could take, um, ganun, ganun, ganun. Or kung meron ka namang sak- uh, sasakyan, meron kang motor, meron kang bicycle. So, highlight them para lang problema. So, ayan. So, the next is, what will be your reasons in leaving this job? So, ayan. So, the reason na nag- um, yung answer ko dito sa what will be your reasons in leaving this job is simple. Sinabi ko lang if I am not happy anymore because um, I, val- I value my job and I value my company. And if the company would not value me as an employee, that would be a great reason for me to leave this job. Simple as that. Kasi diba, totoo lang naman eh. Sa, sa, sa truth lang tayo, diba? So, binigay mo yung lahat mo doon sa trabaho mo. Binigay mo lahat doon sa job mo. But, the company should also recognize your um, efforts at dapat pahalagahan ka. At pag hindi ka pinahalagahan, iwanan mo. Yun yung answer ko. And, yeah, yun na answer ko. And then number 20 is, do you have any questions for me? So, I did ask some few questions. Like, again, like what I've said, it's a casual interview. So, parang ganun ganun Nagpapalitan lang kami ng questions. So, I've actually asked, but I remember asking the interviewer how long he has been working for, um, in, the, in Concentrix. So, ganun. So, yun. Yun yung 20 questions that I received when I applied in Concentrix. And I'm hoping that you guys who are watching this and who are planning to apply as a call center agent in Concentrix um, did get an idea on how to pass 
and how to answer the questions, the top 20 questions in Concentric's interview um, interview um, part ng Concentrix and if ever that you guys are working from Concentrix and if you get um, another set or different questions please do comment them down below so that mabasa natin mabigyan ko ng answer if ever that I'm going to answer that questions para mabasa din ng ibang mga viewers natin dito sa video na to so that's it I'm hoping that this video has been very helpful for all of you guys so good luck sa lahat ng mga nag apply in sa Concentrix at in any call center um uh, companies okay so um, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe please give this video a like um, also um, share comment and then hit notification bell so that you will be updated on my, uh, on my next videos so that's it for this um, video guys again once again my name is Christian and hope to see you soon on my next vlog bye